Today, Samajwadi Party MP Mr. Chaudhary has criticized Senghor and said that it should be replaced because, in his opinion, Senghor was a walking stick of the king and it has no place in a democratic country. You know, he is completely wrong. He doesn't know the history of this great civilization. Uh, Tamil Nadu, since ancient times, whenever there has been transfer of power, this Senghor was handed over from the earlier ruler to the next ruler. Senghor is not just a scepter. You know, it signifies the uh, um, just rule. It signifies rule based on integrity and honesty. So that is the reason why when India got independence, Nehru accepted this and then Nehru got Senghor from the then British representative. You know, these people are now criticizing this very important aspect of India's history. And who are these people? The person who raised the issue belonged to Samajwadi party, which is a family party, dynasty party. You know, in that party, no family member outside the family could become the topmost leader. Similarly, Congress leader Gaurav Gogoi, he has raised and supported this issue. Who is he? His father was a chief minister. He is a dynast and his entire Congress party is a family dominated party. So they are completely wrong. In Tamil Nadu also, DMK leader uh, has justified it. And, uh, you know, they are going against the Tamil culture. They are belittling the Tamil culture. This is one. And the second aspect is, Nehru himself accepted this and then um, that is how the transfer of power took place. Do these people feel that whatever Nehru done was uh, wrong? Why are they demeaning uh, Nehru now, Jawaharlal Nehru now, the first Prime Minister of India? So this, their demand is completely unacceptable and uh, the Senghor should be there as it is because the act signifies a, a historical uh, um, uh, historical um, aspect. So it should be there. The demand of the Samajwadi party should not be accepted by the speaker and the leaders. Thank you.